Welcome to all our viewers from around the globe to the first ever Blue Origin launch webcast. It's a beautiful day down here in Texas. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start, 2, 1. Shepard rocket here from West Texas. 5,000 feet and climbing. Coming up in a couple seconds here, we'll hit max Q. This is the point where the aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle are at its max. You don't see much of a plume with this engine, and that's because the propellants are liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. So it's actually a very clean burn. It's the fourth flight of this new Shepard rocket. We're now at Mach 3, 150,000 feet. There we go, we've hit Miko. Main engine cutoff. Right on target. And there it is, separation. Jeff, at this point, if you were there in the crew capsule, you're gonna start feeling that, that weightlessness. You're gonna start to unbuckle, do your somersaults. Start doing somersaults. Look out that window, you can definitely see the blackness of space from there. 10,000 feet. That engine should be relighting soon. 5,000 feet. There's that engine relight. another picture-perfect landing for New Shepard rocket booster. Let's cut over to the crew capsule because it's about to deploy its parachutes. There we go. We've got the two drogue chutes which have deployed. That means we are executing the primary mission of today's flight, which was to test the redundancy with our parachutes. There go the main parachutes. 1,000 feet off the ground. There's going to be that retro rocket system that fires just in the last second before touchdown. Keep in mind, it does kick up a lot of dust here in the West Texas desert. It looks like a hard landing, but really it just is a soft, pillowy touchdown at about one or two miles an hour. 100 feet. Touchdown. Wow. Beautiful. Picture perfect. That's exactly what we want. Oh, that was magic. Well, on behalf of all the hardworking team at Blue Origin, Thank you for joining us today, everybody on the, on the internet, for our live broadcast of our New Shepard rocket flight. If you're interested in learning more and keeping up to date with our progress, please be sure to sign up on our website for email updates. And until next time, Gradatum Ferocitor.